once in a while someone will ask me how I save my live sets and how I share them with other people because maybe they have a track they want to share with their friends and collaborate. Um, let me show you how I do it. What you do is you want to go to collect all and save. Now what this does is this will take all of the files that your project is referencing and bring them into the sample folder inside your project folder. So Live will ask you what files to copy. You can copy things from your library, the factory files that came from your library, files from other projects, so if you brought in samples from somewhere else, or if you took them, maybe sampled a song out of iTunes or something, and files from everywhere else is any other place. If you want to be safe, just check yes on them all. That's often what I do, but sometimes, you know, I know I don't need the factory files that came with Ableton, so I might uncheck that. But we'll do that for everything. So we click OK, and you'll notice Live will copy anything it doesn't have, which it's doing now, into a folder. And that folder for me is saved on my desktop here. And it's got samples imported, so that's things from other places, like this one came off my desktop. Um, anything you may have processed along the way, you recorded, and your waveforms, which I used to create a sine wave synth. Um, so that came right from the library. So all that stuff is now there. Next, what I do is, on a Mac, I just right-click it and compress this project, and it creates a zip file. And once that's done, I upload the zip file wherever it needs to go. And that's it.